And let's have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Well, the 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full back and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. This is the lineup for Dortmund. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Munier as fullbacks. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. With it. There's a slide draw pass. Now, will they do it from here? In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. of rest must be and a goal an end-to-end -end game and they weren't behind for long well as you can see the weight of the through ball is key to this goal and he makes the finish look so easy what a good goal that is Meunier, that's an effective cross, aimed at the back post. Well, misfiring without any shadow of a doubt. Royce, can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards. Well, as you can see, it's a really good pass from Royce. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Giovanni Arena. Oh, fancy footwork. It's there for him. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Daniel Malin. A really sumptuous ball. He does love to get in amongst the goals. Marco Royce. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Well, the stats don't lie. Dortmund have had lots of possession, and they've made good use of oh, it. Oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Now, will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? Oh, surely. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Brandt with it. Oh, what an opportunity. 
And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Over it comes. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Growing pressure here, and another corner. Guerrero. On to Jan. It should be. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And he's made headway. It's opened up for him. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And there it is, the final whistle. A satisfying outcome for Borussia Dortmund fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.